Kyle the Cougar Champ sent Dan a really great email I wanted him to read as a follow-up to the interview we had with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he was very gracious, um, you know, very appreciative. Uh, here it is. Let's see. Um, he said, you know, honestly, man, uh, I've done a lot of TV, radio, podcasts, and magazines where after I saw the finished product, I felt very exploited and used. With H3, I really enjoyed <laughs> the angle that you took on the whole video and the podcast. Sweet fucking guy. Nice. Your crew was definitely one of my better experiences. So up to this point, you know, really nice, really gracious. Here's where it takes a turn, though. Um, <laughs> okay, full disclosure, I'm high as fuck right now on Molly with my 74-year-old girlfriend that I mentioned while I was on the podcast as someone I really care about. We're on the beach in Florida, and I've been together on and off for about six months, but Molly or not, I love her to death. Hell, I even babysat her one night after a hospital visit that I was what hardly responsible it? for. Can you what? not say babysat? Yeah. <laughs> you mean like you stayed with your girlfriend? Why are you saying babysat? No, babysit means an old f- person who can't wipe their own ass. Oh. I don't know. Does it go on, Dan? <laughs> yeah, there's more. Uh, you know, he said, uh, uh, you know, he, he, he babysat her after a hospital visit that he was partially responsible for. Um, oh, God. No, that... he didn't break her pussy. Okay, I was wondering. Uh, well, <laughs> What happened was on our second date, she was really drunk and stood up too quickly and fell through a glass table. Oh. Wow. I bandaged her up and took care of her. Okay, I'm rambling. Thanks again for everything. I really enjoy your YouTube videos so on me. The thing <laughs> is, when he revealed that he was on Molly, it throws everything into question. I <laughs> love you guys. You guys are my favorite show. I'm in love with this grandma that I babysit and smash through glass tables. <laughs> <laughs> what I imagine, he's just body slammed her on a fucking glass table. <laughs> it's pretty much what he does, like, metaphorically with their badges. Who writes emails when they're on Molly? I don't know. He's feeling good. Kyle the, Green, the Cougar Champ. He was in a euphoric state. It just <laughs> felt like, you know, sharing the love. I think it's still a compliment. No, it's nice. I thought it was nice. And it was funny. It had a twist. It had turns. I love all that. I'm, I really, I hope to hear more from Kyle. Dude's a legend. <laughs> well, we'll have well, him back. My, so my, hope, sure. my hope is that I want to get Kyle... And Skippy the Virgin um, on the phone. There you go. What I would like is for Kyle the Cougar Champ to try to pitch to Skippy the Virgin that he needs to start fucking old ladies. <laughs> because Skippy's had a drive spell his whole life. And Shredder is the cutest <laughs> guy. He's so cute. Oh, my God. And I think that, you know, God, Shredder. <laughs> Ela's going to miss Shredder when she's gone. No. She's going to be mean the guy. Uh, I think that, that, you know, Skippy could have a future slamming cougars through glass tables. 